kitang mamit. So, um, tell me about the songs that you will put out. Kasi hinanap ko sa Spotify and YouTube, wala pa yun. Yeah, gusto kita and what's, what's the other song? Hindi ka mag-iisa. Tell so, us about those songs. Ayan pa. So, um, gusto kita and hindi ka mag-iisa. Uh, oh. So, um, first and foremost, I'm so honored and I'm so grateful talaga mo naman. Of course, si Tito Benny, very established Tito Benny Saturno. And of course, given that it's uh, my first time entering this music uh, industry, um, I'm really blessed talaga to be able to collaborate with him and actually work on two songs with him. So, um, siya po yung nagbigay ng mga demos, siya po yung nagbigay ng uh, lyrics and ng music. Tapos, uh, yung ginawa mo naman po namin, we work together on try to make it more modern, try to uh, appeal upbeat. To, uh, po, more upbeat, uh, and try to appeal na to um, the, uh, the audiences now. So, uh, yeah. yes. <laughs> so, uh, opo. Very youthful yung song, opo. kasi yung arranger. Um, so, um, actually, yun nga po. So, in order to make it uh, more youthful, I was also able to uh, work also with a um, yeah. friend ko po, si Jacob Yulo. So, he's a Jacob Yulo. So, actually, he's also on Spotify. Din. So, uh, artist din siya? Uh, artist din siya. So, he's the one that helped me make, um, uh, along with Tito Benny, yung gusto ko sa akin, um, hindi ka mag-iisa. So, ayan. So, for hindi ka mag-iisa, actually, it started off as a very slow song, very solemn, very, very, um, like, um, parang, uh, ako yun ang parang, kumakanta sa isang babae mm. na very uh, pangharana and then when we were working on it um, we were thinking what if mas naging upbeat siya so dagdagan ng konting bass dagdagan ng konting parang upbeat uh, layers mga ganun tapos ayan yung product naging mas um, um, lively so so yung pangala Sorry, you also play the guitar, right? Apo. The last time you played the guitar before all of us. Apo. So, do you play the guitar for this song? Um, actually, for this song, po, sa, um, si Jacob po at si Tito Benny po yung nagagay ng instruments. Apo. So, kami po yung nag together. Ayan po. So, for um, Gusto Kita, we went naman at uh, the an opposite different. direction. So, if yung hindi ka mag-iisa, upbeat. Different. Kapag yung hindi ka mag-iisa, mag-iisa is upbeat. Ito naman, mas slow, mas R&B yung tempo, yung vibe. So, parang, parang may uh, pagka-konting bounce or konting sway. Mga ganun. Kasi, when I like when I like to make my music, yung ginagawa ko is, how would my body respond to it? Parang, how would I naturally move with the music? So, yun talaga yung main na uh, how, uh, how I would make my songs. Ang madaling kakain. Di ba yung ngayon, ang gusto na ako yung mga millennial, yung kanya-kanya, yung kakantayin na kahit hindi masyadong okay yung bosses. <laughs> and, ayun, of course, um, um, what's also important in making the songs is um, recall. So, gusto kita, gusto kita. So, very easy to remember. And of course, yung hindi ka mag-iisa ako. So, easy to remember. So, ayun po. Jerry, kung ka naman ang hirapan kasi di ba Tagalog na Tagalog ang songs. And di ba may... Ayun po. So, actually, I got that question a lot before. Kung nahihirapan ka ba in making those songs, mga ganun, or singing them. For me naman, hindi naman masyado. But of course, I still have to practice yung enunciation. Go. Of course, uh, I'm aware that my content, magka going to yung mga, may, may parang accent yung mga certain words ko. Nandu si Benny siya. That's why. Yeah. Actually, during the recording, yeah, uh, yung, yung mga why we took a bit longer is not not because hindi ko matamaan yung song, yung lyrics. Uh, Pinado siya. Pronunciation talaga. Yung sabi, okay, ulitin mo to. Like what? Harder R. Yung mga ganun. Uh, <laughs> yung, um, 
yung for example uh, naririto mga ganun so yung mga dogs those type of words but, para maging tagalog uh, sa para maging mas tagal <laughs> kasi pagka <laughs> armo ano malambot so uh, <laughs> at saka ano isa pa is a very good composer ang um, galing dito sa ano na yan sa pagiging sa album niya about six songs are done by him Uh, so you wrote, you wrote the song? Uh, oh no, this first thing uh, we work up, I work with Kito Benny po. Um, so this is going to be parang yung pagka-launch ko. And then um, soon I'll be launching also my original songs as well. Na, right after? Apo, uh, na solely ako yung gumawa. Tapos, with the work and music. Of, uh, Itong songs ni Benny, ano to, meron na siya, gawa na siya, or he asked you na ano ba yung gusto mo, ano yung... Ay, let me answer that uh, for, for him. Mm-hmm. He gave us five songs okay. to choose from, mm-hmm. kaya ito near to his heart. Kasi ganun yung si Benny, oh, bibigyan oh, kanya oh. ng several songs, oh, oh. tingnan mo kung ano yung mas gusto mo. Mm-hmm. Pero si, si Jerry, marami siyang inano doon, pinalit. Pero hindi na lang, ano, uh, ang galing-galing kasi niyang power composer. Marami siyang, ano doon, uh, na, sa lyrics, marami uh, siyang pinalit. And also sa melody. Ayan. Ngayon, eh, Jerry J. Talagang na-fit-fit niya, sa heart niya, kaya may puso ang talaga. Ayan. Thank you. So, Sorry. Are you the first person to hear the songs of Ah, Pinapaninig niya. Tita Emi, ito yung mga kanta kong bago. Oh. Gaganda naman. Wala akong tula kapigil. Eh. Ayun na si Miss Marie! She is the head of ano, Tashir Label. Ah. Star Music. Okay. Thank you for the support. Of course. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so, siya po yung, ano, siya po yung uh, ayaw putulog po sa launch na originals ko naman. Kasi my originals have been working with Uh, Star Music and uh, Tarshi Records. So, she made a magandang stuff. So, when are you releasing your album eventually? Um, actually, po, um, what we're going to do is we're going to be releasing it song by song muna para, oh. ano po, para mas mahaba yung uh, market. Hindi na na ngayon. Hindi na album. <laughs> kasi kapag album daw po, baka may magandang song na hindi pa pwede makapinggan kasi hindi siya ma-promote. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. yung gagawin po is one by one. Uh, our target po, our target for my first original is hopefully uh, by this uh, third week of September or maybe hopefully the earliest next week na po na But this is, these are original songs, two songs. Um, these two songs po, yung gusto kita and hindi ka mag-iisa po. Uh, I work with Tito Ben. So, siya po yung um, nagbigay ng, uh, as what uh, Tita Emi said, siya po yung nagbigay ng mga sample demo songs na lima. Tapos ako yung pumili ng dalawa. Tapos may mga na-rearrange yung uh, lyrics, na-rearrange yung mga uh, so, uh, tempo, yung pagkakanta, yung mga ganun po, to make it more modern. So, collaborative po siya. Jerry, bakit gusto mo maging singer or artist? Singer song writer? Ako po, um, well, given my background kasi um, I grew up with I, I grew up singing with different genres talaga. So I started with classical, then I went to... Classical? <laughs> <laughs> you studied, you studied music? Uh, I studied po... Um, I was, um, when I was in grade school, I was under um, si Miss Luz Morete Martinez. She was a madrigal singer. So, mas classical yung approach ko. So, yung mga kinakata po is Oso de Mio, Granada, yung mga ganun. So, eh kasi boy soprano ako dati. So, very high. <laughs> Wow. Um, and then, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, no, naging ano po ako, uh, 13 teens, um, pumunta naman po ako ng uh, parang Broadway theater kasi um, nag-audition po ako sa King and I nung pumunta sila sa Philippines pero yung director sabi niya, Uh, may potential ako. Uh, pumunta ka kay Ryan Kevya. Ito yung, ano, ito yung school niya. So, doon ako nag, ano, nag-voice lessons. Um, so, mas naging theater. So, yung mga kinakanta is West Side Story, Reese, Airspray, yung mga ganun. And then, of course, Ryan Kevya was classical. Ano sa West Side Story yung kinakanta? Ah, uh, mga, uh, <coughs> 
parang ano po siya eh, more of like group group singing or like tonight tonight just every night mga ganun so um so kasi every summer in that school may mga recitals kami na different types of genres so yung first year ko was all Ryan Cardiob songs yung second year ko yung mga West Side Story yung mga ganun tapos musical theater yung musical theater and then kasabay naman po nun when I went to high school Um, I joined this org naman na uh, mas pop akapela. So iba-iba talaga yung sa atin yun. Opo, sa atin yung high school. So doon naman kami nag-compete ng pop akapela. More of, um, opo, so since tenor ako, doon ako kumanta. And then, um, nung naging college naman po, that's when I told my parents, I want to try being solo. Parang ako na ako yung kakanta. So that's where I I became more of like a singer songwriter. That's where I um, sang more pop R and B O P N. Natapos. That's where I also started learning how to play guitar a bit more. So ayon po. <laughs> That's my background. Ano reaction ng parents mo nang sabi mo na gusto mo na magin ng music artist? Music artist. Business man pala yun. So actually, actually, um, yung mom and dad both business men and women. And um, so before I graduated, they asked me, "Ana, ana na, uh, <laughs> ana na, kasi ako lang po yung business." Akal, uh, kasi ako lang po yung business background sa family ko. Are you the eldest? I'm the youngest. Oh, youngest. Ako yung one so five. Apo. Eh yung isa ko yung all of my siblings different fields na napasukan. So ako lang yung business. So dapat sa ano mag Apo. Napapalinig na sila eh before I graduate. Sabi nila, "Anak, ano na? Okay, may may libre ano, may libreng kwarto sa ano, office namin, may libre table, mga ganun." And then when they asked that, that's when I took the opportunity na parang sinabi ko na uh, I told them straight na parang mapa parang I know deep in my heart na kung hindi ko ito pinursu, marami akong regrets. And I don't want to live that, parang I don't want to live that life na marami akong regrets. I want to, if to do it, uh, I want to do it. So, I asked them and if this is the path that I I can pursue, I can take, and ayun, um, I'm just very grateful na I have two great and um, very supportive and loving parents. At right away, they, they, Apo, right they away, said yes? Apo, Apo. They, they said, they, they asked if this is what they really want to do, is this your passion? Eh, I mean, ever since naman I was young, lagi naman, sila talaga yung pushers na, Oh, anak, Boy. anak, perform ka. Oh, oh, anak, anak, kanta ka dito, kanta ka dyan. <laughs> join ka dito, join ka dyan. So, sila talaga yung nag-push sa akin. Na parang, Only boy ka pala. <clears throat> Ay, hindi po. Uh, may kuya ako. May kuya pa lang. Yes. Um, yes. Um, <laughs> buti mo. May tanong siya. For for this actually po, um, <laughs> given how um, I had to wait for a long time for this launch action. Nakaready na tong mga songs dati pa but years, di ba? Uh, a year in the making. Yung mga ganun pa, mga a few months to close to. Jerry, sorry. Jerry, sabi ni John Marichan, yung singing daw, so being an artist cannot be a livelihood in the Philippines. Mm. Uh, hobby lang daw siya. Mm. What is for you? Sabi mo. Kaya siya may business na rin. Ah. Kung ganun daw siyang ano, nandiyan siya hobby to support uh, whatever bang bang na is wrong Of course, uh, see so with that a very um, very good question. But I think it it really depends on your background. Of course, see see si, si Jose Marichal is very established. Already. If you think of Christmas guy, eh, Jose Marichal, di ba? So of course, and dami niyang mga endorsement, dami niyang mga. Um, Adamin yung mga business size yung mga ganun. But if you ask me, like, if 
music is a hobby or a, a livelihood. I think it's something that you really have to pursue. Talaga. Like it's something that you um, like you, can't, passion. Uh, you can't really put half-hearted. So it can't be like, um, okay, I'll do it on the side. But uh, for me. Um, and so that's just my stance on it now. <laughs> so all out kind of that. Uh, hopefully. And yes, hopefully after today, um, it will kickstart something that uh, Yes. Ah yes, yes. So of course, um, of course, every artist, every singer has their um, dream collaborations, dream performances. I think for me, um, if I have realistic and um, very, not even reaching, but. Uh, um, I have realistic and I have big dreams as well. Hopefully, my reach then. Um, yung mga realistic muna is um, slowly mas makilala ako um, either to perform more on EP, uh, to perform also um, yung mga uh, makuha ko on social media, mas mapalaki yung social media presence ko. Um, also, um, to have my own concert in the future, of course, as well, diba? So, of course, I have to start off as yung mga featuring, yung mga ganun, head, yung mga yes. guest performances. And then, later on, building up my resume, building up my uh, my image as a performer. And once, hopefully, once I become more known, I'll headline my own concerts. So, of course, we're gonna start off yung mga sa theaters muna, yung mga and then hopefully if, if um, some music festivals uh, and hopefully even in the mga arenas or like on the same so just crossing my fingers aside Sana. from the king and i where else did you audition um i also auditioned for for um, asia's got talent when they came oh, here okay. um and yeah, daming and dami tayong dami tayong nag audition kailan yun I think I was entering college, yeah, so I think 2018, 2017, 2018, 2018, Considering, I'm sorry, oh, considering your musical background, how is the adjustment now that you're singing relatively, well, deemed as lightweight material? Because it's pop, right? If you put it in the theater and classical, it's money, supposedly. I think um, with that, I for me talaga guys, uh, I really found my sound and I really found my like the songs that I really want to sing when I was in college and that was when I was performing solo. So I from the start naman talaga, um, I didn't mind naman singing theater. I enjoyed it naman. It was fun, but. For me, parang may, I always felt that parang may kula or parang there's something else I want to discover. So, for me, it's really something that I like doing. I like singing pop R&B, OPM, yung mga ganun. So, yeah, that's, that's for me. Alam mo, Jerry, what I find uh, curious is that uh, Star Music signed you for three things. Usually, they sign you for uh, as artist, maybe songwriter, but not as producer. But you were signed for those three things. Uh, the last time I heard of that was Kian Cipriano doing it. Eventually, he label siya sa Viva. And even sa Star Music, I think si Jonathan lang na offer ng ganon. So how did you land that three-tier uh, contract? I think I think it's when they found out that I was able to like create my, write my own songs, write my own melodies. I think that's when because. Um, it's normal naman for people like for performers to get songs and then sila na lang ikakanta but um, I believe like it's for me it's better to create the songs because it's closer to your heart it's closer to your experiences because when I write my songs it's more of like ano yung nararamdam ko ngayon or what are the experiences I feel so being able to write their own songs I think that's what was able to help me like get a leverage in a sense but yeah something like that but, mo ba? you are being groomed for something bigger than just being an artist <clears throat> um, as of 
as of now, hopefully, like, or, or will, you know, be bigger than so, artists, yeah. or oh. even like, um, a lot of people ask, oh. like, a lot of people ask, naman na parang, oh, if, um, would you consider acting, mga ganun, or would you consider, yeah, yung mga commercials, mm -hmm. and, I, whenever I get asked that, I always say, um, given that I'm still relatively new in this um, industry, I'm, if a door opens, then of course I'm going to take it. And I'm going to try my best to, of course, step one talaga is exposure. Mm -hmm. And how will you get exposure? Because sa star music, alam mo, halos lahat ng songs ang nagpo-produce nun si Jonathan Manalo. And ngayon, Malaki ang tiwala niya sa to produce your own songs. That's that's unheard of. Yeah, so far. Uh, well, I mean, if if they ask me to write other songs, actually, kasi um, whenever um, just to give you like how I would, like how songwriters would think also, like whenever um, maraming kanta yung ginagawa ng mga songwriters, and sometimes kasi whenever you meet a whenever a songwriter makes a song. Even if it's finished, parang they don't really connect. The artist doesn't really connect with it. Um, that's why, for example, if you hear na parang actually, for example, uh, Ed Sheeran wrote a song for Rihanna or Ed, mga ganun, um, Sometimes when you nag-iba yung ano, parang when you, for example, if I write something and I feel like parang mas bagay to kay ano, then ayun, I mean like I I don't mind being able to do that naman. And um, it's, being, it's really being able to write music. At, at the end of the day, it's being able to write music and enjoy the music that you make. So... Where can they find you on social media? Okay, so um, they can uh, find me on TikTok, Instagram, uh, Facebook. They're all... Jerry Is yours wala pa sa Spotify? Wala pa. Not even YouTube. Not even lyric video. Wala. Be in Spotify daw. She is the Tarshir label manager. Ah. Si Miss Mare. Oh. Oh. Si Jerry. Si Tapos? Uh, a few covers. Yeah. But now I'm trying to broaden my stuff. Not to just like music. Oh, so like, na nakarami yung ano mo? Uh, not that much yet, because eh, I just started it. Because uh, dati, um, like as a person, 